Has you ever occurred that you are talking about your research in a public event, and the first impression you get from people is criticism rather than support and excitement? Well, it's happened to me several times. Here's one example. I was talking to a person at a conference, and, the and he asked me, what is your area of research? Bioenergy. What type of bioenergy? Ethanol. And here is the criticism came in. He said, so you are trying to promote the production of ethanol from food crops, which negatively impact the food supply. This is quite the public opinion on the ethanol market, but using the food crops is not the only way to produce this biofuel. It can be also generated from non-food portion of these crops, such as corn husk. This type of ethanol, uh, ethanol is called cellulosic ethanol, and the raw material is called biomass. However, even with the introduction of cellulosic ethanol, food versus food debate has not lost its momentum. Why? Because this new biofuel cannot be mass produced at a low cost. One of the largest contributors to the cost is logistics system. Logistics system includes all of the operations from farm to the ethanol production facilities, such as harvesting the biomass, collection, storing, and finally transporting to the plant. A recent research by US Department of Energy shows that the logistics costs are currently between 60 to $80 per ton of biomass and must be reduced to $30 per ton. So the purpose of my research is to reduce the logistic cost and push it toward $30 per ton. How? By designing a cost-efficient biomass logistics system. Here is the way that I designed the system. Imagine I have a map and along with the information including the location of cellulosic ethanol plant, its annual biomass demand, and also the location of the farms in the map. So I'm trying to find out, to meet the demand, which farms to select and contract to guarantee a year-round availability of biomass, how many farms, uh, how many storage facilities to establish and where to locate them, and finally, to move the biomass in the system, how many machines are required and how to schedule them. To find a solution for this question, I have developed a simulation model. And so far, the result of the simulation model shows that the cost can be reduced by $9 per ton. So in summary, I believe this model would be a step toward the commercialization of cellulosic ethanol and thereby no food versus fuel debate. Thank you.